The Line Mood Review. Karen's a nurse at a psychiatric hospital who's been having nightmares about jump scares recently. She goes to take the subway train home after a long day at work when the train breaks down. Gradually it becomes clear to her and a small group of other people that a group of religious fanatics are killing people. They seem to think that this is a good thing and this group of non-killing, non-religious fanatics try to survive and find a way out of this madness. This is kind of like a zombie flick, but with, you know, in place of zombies, you have these creepy cultists, and they really are genuinely effectively creepy. You really find yourself quite terrified of them. It it really has a good sense of isolation. You do only follow this small group of people and, you know, as the film goes, you, you keep questioning, is, you know, are they right? They keep talking about this, you know, incoming apocalypse and you, you keep wondering, are they right, or is it just religious fanaticism? Are they just insane, you know? That is something the film does really well. You can never completely tell if, you know, there really is going to be some sort of, you know, Armageddon, or if it is just a bunch of, you know, if it is just a kind of mass psychosis. The... You know, the situation is only worsened by the fact that, you know, communication, technological communication has apparently been, you know, halted or hijacked. You know, they appear to control not only the vertical, but the horizontal, too. The effects vary somewhat, but most of them are really, really good. And there's some real great brutal gore in this movie and some incredibly disturbing visuals. Yeah, they... Exploitative is a good word for it. It's also kind of cheesy. You know, the... The fanatics use these little... knives that are kind of like... You know, you see it on the cover. A cross that ends in a knife, you know. And, you know, there are varying age groups and ethnicities and such. One of them is, like, this middle-aged guy. And he doesn't just have a knife. He has a big old sword. You know, that's just... That's... Yeah. So, yeah. Kind of cheesy as well. And it, you know, somewhat trashy at points. It's a fun, exciting you know, entertaining and engaging film. It it leaves some questions open and has a pretty good deal of mystery to it. And the ending is really, really good. It doesn't particularly let the audience down. It keeps to a really good pace. You're never bored. And it doesn't... It keeps a really good balance between not throwing you right into it, but at the same time, not really wasting any time getting to essentially what we want to see. You know, we want to see, you know, crazy, brutal stuff happening. But we do get a, you know, brief, nice introduction to Karen. And, you know, our main characters are all decently enough as far as being likable and credible. You know, not a lot of really stupid decisions are made nor are any of the characters really obnoxious, which, you know, two things that, yeah, horror movies need to do better at. The... The themes are quite good, actually, for, you know, somewhat surprising for kind of this 
exploitation film, almost exploitation film. You know, it goes into religious fanaticism, it goes into, you know, people who believe, are they necessarily good, are they necessarily evil, do they automatically believe everything that is said to them, you know. If, you know, will they necessarily all be held to the same standard as they hold others to, things like that, you know. And it's kind of half and half on the whole belief and is it a good thing or a bad thing issue, you know, which is good, you know. It doesn't say outright that all belief is a bad thing, nor does it say that belief is necessarily only a good thing. The score is quite good. Like I sort of hinted at, there are some jump scares, but they tend to be really good. And it does at the same time really build an atmosphere, you know. It is a very tense movie, pretty much throughout. The acting is reasonable. It's not really what we're watching this for, and it's not so bad that it's, you know, painful to watch either. I suppose that pretty well covers it, so yeah, you know, if this is the kind of thing you're into, to go for it, it's definitely, it might not be one you're, you'll be watching a ton of times, but it's good for at least one solid viewing. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.